Hi guys, it's me Roslyn and I wanted to update you about my removal of condition. I submit my ROC March 26 this year 2019 and then I received my extension letter March 28 2019 so that is two days and then now I check my mail and I receive my biometrics letter or appointment and today is November 2 2019 so seven months after I submit my ROC application I received my biometrics schedule so here you go the envelope <laughs> and then the letter so i will read it um form i 797c notice of action asc appointment notice so case type i 751 petition to remove conditions on residence so application petition request number my src number and then my USCIS alien number. And then it's indicated here on the letter, notice date, October 25, 2019. But I received the letter just now. And the code is 3. So it's stated here, to process your application, petition or request, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or USCIS must capture your biometrics. Please appear at the below application support center at the date and time specified. If you fail to appear as scheduled, your application, petition, or request will be considered abandoned. So, my support center is USCIS Atlanta 3358B Chambly Tucker Road, Atlanta GA 30341. And then, my appointment date is November 14, 2019, around 8 o'clock in the morning. Then, it's stated here, when you go to the application support center to have your biometrics taken, you must bring first this appointment notice and second, photo identification. Um, naturalization applicants must bring their alien resident card. All other applicants must bring a passport, driver's license, national ID, military ID, or state-issued photo ID. If, if you appear without proper identification, you will not be fingerprinted. So, cell phones, cameras, or other recording devices are not permitted. Then, note. When you appear at the USCIS Application Support Center, you will reaffirm under penalty or perjury that you reviewed and understood your application, petition, or request and all supporting documents, that the answers were provided by you, and that the contents of your application, petition, or request are complete, true, and correct. If you were assisted in completing your application, petition, or request, you will be reaffirming that the person assisting you also reviewed the acknowledgement of appointment at USCIS Application Support Center with you. Then another note, USCIS may use your fingerprints to check the criminal history record of the FBI. You may, you may obtain a copy of your own FBI identification record using the procedure outlined within Title 28, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and the next, if the USCIS or ASC is closed due to inclement weather or for other unforeseen circumstances, USCIS will automatically reschedule your appointment for the next available appointment date and mail you a notice with the new date and time. So that's it. I received my biometric appointment. So that is on November 14. So I think uh, 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 next, next week. So I need to request off from work. So, yeah. So, for those who apply or submitted your ROC during that time also, because I submitted March, maybe you will receive your biometrics letter because I received mine. But, don't be alarmed if you don't, abs if you don't receive any biometrics 
um, appointment letter because some says uh, some of the applicant may not receive their biometrics appointment letter because the USCIS will use your old biometrics. Your old biometrics. <laughs> when you apply for your adjustment of status so i will make a video uh, when i'm already at the support center and give you any feedback what did they told me what did i do uh inside the uh center okay so if you have questions clarifications please feel free to comment on my video have a great day everyone Bye bye